The art of the cold pull. Step one, clog your nozzle. Check. Step two, heat the extruder up to the max temperature or nearby it and try to purge. Many clogs can be resolved by heat, but even if yours cannot, it will help the material flow around the clog. Step three, allow the nozzle to cool to somewhere between 90 and 100 degrees Celsius. I'll teach you a tip in just one second for speeding this process up. Step four, pull like your life depends on it. Okay, maybe not that hard. You can pull using the extruder or your hand or both, but do make sure that you're not putting excessive force on your gantry and release the gears if needed. Also, pull slowly. For particularly stubborn clogs, like with these increasingly popular integrated heat brake designs, I often prefer to actually take the nozzle out and hold it with a pair of pliers just to avoid damaging the gantry or punching the top of the printer when it releases. Again, pull slowly. If you do this successfully, you will see not only the end geometry of your nozzle, which is an indication that the filament didn't break off in the process, but also, hopefully, the clog will be right there for you to observe. I mean, have a look at these beauties. I told you guys, I get a lot of clogs. If you're not successful and the filament does break, there are actually some specialized cleaning filaments out there from companies like eSun or 3D Fuel, which are apparently designed to make cold pulls more successful. Additionally, I sometimes like to kind of combine this technique with the traditional acupuncture needle, basically heating up and melting the filament in the nozzle, and then using the needle to try and dislodge the clog from the tip of the nozzle and push it deeper into the molten plastic, which will then hopefully solidify around it and pull the clog out. So one time may not be effective, but try it a couple of times if you're not successful.